Alright boys, what's happening? Welcome back to another episode of The Road to Glory on FIFA 22. The episodes have been coming very slow with this series so far and I'm trying to make me hours last on the 10-hour uh, trial from EA Access. Uh, both boys, we do have unlimited hours somehow, but it's bugged and I don't want to say too much in case EA banned me or something there. But anyway, uh, we're still on the game even though our trial's expired. Uh, so yeah, that's a bit mad. Today we have our, our first Squad Battles rewards of the year. Uh, if you haven't seen, Squad Battles has seen a massive buff this year in terms of the rewards. Elite 1 being 26k coins and 250k packs, which we are going to get into today. We're going to click Squad Battles, go ahead and claim these rewards straight away. You see we get Elite 1, very nice indeed. 26k coins, which is absolutely massive at this stage in the game. Two rare players packs as well. That's going to take us up to 63k coins uh, and give us, of course, 250k packs to open. We were going to save it for um, Friday. Friday when once to watch comes out but I decided you know what we're going to open them today I will show you the team later uh, in this video and some gameplay and stuff and a few little clips here and there from people I've packed and things like that but I'll show you them later on in the video but for now let's get into the squad battles rewards boys it's the first time this year we're getting rewards from squad battles I don't know if I will play uh, squad battles every um, year or um, every year every week sorry now normally these 50k packs from what I've seen have a guaranteed 83 plus player in them these ones don't so it looks like all rare player packs don't have that 83 plus guaranteed these are obviously from squad battles the one from SBCs have an 83 plus guaranteed but the ones from squad battles don't seem to anyway let's get into our first pack can we get our first walkout of the season of the game we are yet to pull a walkout in a pack it's not even going to be boards it's going to be an 82 rated Kevin Trap in the first pack so was playing 30 games of squad battles worth it of this first pack it's an 82 in a 50k pack that is not worth it so far is there any schneid little players that we could get in here that cost money van der beek he's not going to sell for anything is he 68 pace uh, Mason Greenwood at the end there, but he's only about 1k, I swear. That is a terrible pack, boys, isn't it? Let's be honest. That is a terrible pack. We'll send Greenwood and Christian Eriksen up to the uh, trade pile. Hopefully, we can use a few of these players in the SBCs. We are yet to do the Hybrid Leagues and Hybrid Nations SBCs. We're going to save those packs and those SBCs for when ones to watch do come out because uh, I want the best chance at getting a ones to watch. But the final pack, can we get something in this one? Can we see a walkout? Please, EA, hook us up. Don't hook us down. Shout out to Penfez. Come on, EA, give us something good. Please. Oh, it's trash again, boys. It's trash again, boys. It's going to be Ariola 82. Oh, boys, I don't believe it. I do not believe it. 82 Ariola. I might actually try this guy. I had no idea he was playing for West Ham, though. I might actually try this guy in-game. But look at that for a pack. That is absolutely terrible. 182 and then 381s. And then the rest is 80. Di Lorenzo's got a nice card, but... Come on, like, bro. Oh, boys, our pack luck is just... Vlasic plays for West Ham. Wow, did not know that. Our pack luck on this account is just terrible. Last FIFA as well, our pack luck was absolutely terrible on the Road to Glory series. And yet again, uh, it's looking like our pack luck is quite trash. But, yeah, man, that's sad. At least we have 63k coins now to go ahead and complete the Hybrid Leagues and Nations SBCs. That is very unfortunate. Is squad battles worth it? I'd still say yes, because, you know, we could have got something mad out of those 50k packs there but to play 30 games against computer which is actually solid this year you know but he's not even messing i play on world class yeah even like this team here with 54 chemistry if i played this team now lad yeah this goalkeeper at, at center back it'd be heavy you've got socrates in goal and he's gonna be heavy lad he's gonna pull out some mad saves and it's like bro he's a 77 rated center back who's in the team on one chemistry like, how is he making saves as a goalkeeper? Uh, but yeah, squad battles this year is really hard. It is very hard. Uh, and our team is just not good. And this game is just not good, bro. I can't lie. Like, I'm very bad at this game. It's the first time I'll admit, hold my hands up and say, I am not good at this game. Every year on FIFA, I'm normally above average. Gold 1 foot champions player, Elite 3, battling 4 every week. You know, but this FIFA boy is so far... I don't even think I'll get into, well, what last year would have been silver. One, 11 wins out of the 30, but he's like, I'm actually really bad. Yeah, at the moment, we're in uh, Division 8 still. Our last video, we was in Division 8. We're still in Division 8. I haven't been able to get out of Division 8 yet because uh, it's just been, I've been that bad. Anyway, let's get into some gameplay and I'll show you a few pack pulls that we have got on the account. So, boys, we open a two rare gold players pack now. Let's see who we get inside this one. Two rare gold players. 
last few fed these packs are amazing this is from the spc where you're trading the non-rare team and we do go ahead and get lautaro martinez 85 rated from a two rare players pack and this guy is always one of my favorite players in fifa especially at the start of the game i always seem to get this guy at the start and this guy is fantastic in game he's got some great stats on his card there 85 dribbling 84 physical 84 pace and 81 shooting with 72 passing great striker can we build a Serie A team and get this guy in or will he just be a super sub uh, right now? We're, of course, going with that Prem team and we're trying to do a first owner challenge, boys. And by that, uh, I mean, we're doing our squad has to have at least seven first owner players in the start and 11. That is our challenge for this Road to Glory this year. But, boys, if you didn't know, every day in the store, you can get a preview pack. So you can open a gold pack without actually paying coins for it. Make sure you check out your preview packs because look at this. We get Antonio Rudiger in a preview pack now i did mention at the start of the road to glory when we had christensen at center back i'd love to have rudiger in that back line one of my favorite players in the premier league uh, i do have to say i've always backed rudiger to be chelsea's best center half when there was a debate between rudiger christensen uh, and zuma and a few other players I, I always backed rudiger and now rudiger is showing in real life that he is probably their best center back Great defender, great player to add to our squad on Ultimate Team. And of course, like I say, this was from a preview pack. So the pack cost 7.5k. Rudiger was 15. So I'm, I went ahead and purchased the pack uh, and basically got Rudiger for half price and threw him into our squad. So boys, in this clip, you can see we are playing Mystery Ball on the online friendly game mode. This was just for uh, an, a weekly objective, I do believe, for playing a game of Mystery Ball. Uh, and I want to show you the most overpowered shooting technique on FIFA. I might make a dedicated video tutorial uh, to this like technique. Uh, but long shots, finesse shots, they are going to be your best friend on FIFA 22. Like I said, I'm not very good at this game, but I can find little mechanics and stuff like this. So we're running down the line with Mason Greenwood. We cut in and watch this for a goal, boys. Finesse shot, timed finesse finish finesse shot to the far post and it just flies in past the keeper greenwood cutting in on his favored left foot there from the right wing and we score one of those time finesses into the far corner fantastic finish here's another example boys of this timed finished finesse shot that i am talking about the key with this finesse shot is do not aim your left stick at the far post aim it directly downwards you can see we cut in with greenwood now and look at that for a finish boys 91st minute to make the game 3-1 to us absolutely fantastic goal like I mentioned, boys, here's another replay of that. The key thing is aim the left stick directly downwards. You see we're running parallel to the goal there. Keep aiming the left stick downwards when you power up the shot. Do not aim it to the far post because then Kerr will activate in the finesse shot and the keeper will just save it easily. If you aim the stick directly downwards or directly upwards, depending on which side you're cutting in from, then and then hit the time finesse uh, obviously if you don't know how to do time finishes you press uh, the b or circle button to load up a shot uh, and then you press it one more time just before your player uh, does kick the ball you can see rudiger there putting a big foot in but yeah time finishing uh, like i say press b once or, or circle once to power up the shot then press it again just before your player makes contact with the ball and then you'll do a timed finish uh, and then hopefully you'll hit it in the green uh, even if you don't get it in the green and you do it too late it'll flash gray uh, but even if you do it gray you actually get a better boost to your shot uh, than you would with um, not doing a time finesse at all or a time finish sorry um, you can see we give away a penalty there in this game um, and we'll, we'll see can we save the penalty the ball goes straight through our goalkeeper boys we dive the right way for the penalty and the ball goes straight through this is why i'm losing my mind with this game stuff like that like what else am i meant to do there we've dived the right way for the penalty we're down one nil already uh, i mean we're down t to 10 men we had a red card uh, and we dived the right way for the penalty and it goes through me keeper like out my head was absolutely gone this game and then he goes on another attack here is he going to score off this one mason greenwood with the tackle um but yeah man the goalkeepers on this game absolutely ridiculous the passing is ridiculous uh you know like i'll power up a pass to me left back and he'll boost it to me left mid who's marked by two men and i'll lose the ball i can see it off it and it's like bro i have not aimed the ball anywhere near my left back so why is it going there um but i just can't hack this game i can't find a good formation that works for me uh, and i just can't like find good tactics or anything like that lovely goal there uh, from jesse lingard which wasn't a goal but we do uh, score at the end of it 
Great dribbling from Lingard there, though. Dribbling is going to be the most important stat on the game this year. I'm calling it already. Um, you know, the little agile dribbling, the little, like, shimmies, even just with the left stick dribbling, just moving left and right, getting your players to, to move. Uh, it's just so, so effective this year, boys. Here we go back into the store now, boys. We've got a small prime gold players pack. This is from Marky Matchups. We did Marky Matchups last night uh, and obviously recorded our uh, packs. Afterwards, we open this small prime gold players pack and get Lucas Mora. That is a fantastic card, especially for the start of the game. 86 dribbling, 90 pace, 79 shooting. Great card on Lucas Mora. He'll definitely go straight into the team, replacing Mason Greenwood on that right wing. Don't think he really sells so much, uh, but a fantastic card to get. Four star, four star. Fantastic dribbling stats all around the board. Good pace as well. Great card to get in a pack there. Premium gold players pack now, boys. The final pack from the marquee matchups for completing the set. It is going to be a board down player. It's going to be Luca Dean. Again, uh, we've already got this guy, of course, in our team. Dinier, Dinier. Um, <laughs> so we get Dinier, uh, Dinier twice there. Um, so we say it a few times. We get Buendia in this pack as well. He's got a stinky card. I thought they would have hooked uh, Buendia up with a nice card this year, but he looks quite stinky uh, on his card right there. 73 pace, something like that. His, his team of the season card last year was fantastic. So I'm surprised he didn't get a bigger boost this year. Um, but... Um, it looks like I've missed the clip, boys. When we opened that Rudiger pack, uh, we opened another preview pack straight after it. And we got Antoine Griezmann in that pack. Uh, and he sold for 15k. So I bought the pack and then sold him on for 15k. Probably should have kept old. He might go up, he might go down. Uh, who knows? But yeah, we did go ahead and get Antoine Griezmann, which gave us another 15k into uh, the squad, into the club. Oh, and now it says that we have less, less than 15 minutes left on the trial, boys. Uh, this is quite a scary moment right now. I'm scared if I press this, it's going to boot me off the game. Uh, I've lost connection to the EA servers. Leave an ultimate team. I really want to show you the squad. Um, but we're connecting to the servers. Let's just pray that it doesn't boot me off. Like I say, my trial actually expired uh, at 5pm on Saturday. And I've still been playing the game all night and day since. And yeah, I've been kicked off the servers. That looks like the end of my trial, boys, because I can't dashboard to come back on. Um, but at least we got to open the squad battles rewards in this video, you know. Oh, no, we're back on the servers. Let's go back on to Ultimate Team. Um, maybe the trial will actually register now, and in 15 minutes, I will actually get booted off. Um, but we'll have to wait and see for that. Let me show you the squad real quick um, before like we do get booted off, and then I'll show you uh, or tell you what we're going to do for the rest of this FIFA so here is the squad on the screen as you can see um we do have jesse lingard on the reserves but lingard is our cam replacing phil foden we went ahead and picked up uh, gabriel jesus played 15 scored 21 assisted 12 paid 8.6k on this guy don't let the stats fool you and um, we played a lot of squad battles with this guy he does feel quite good in game but is he anything special no would i pay more than 10k absolutely not for this guy, Calvert-Lewin, he's the biggest donkey I've ever seen in my entire life. Uh, obviously, in the start of squad, 41 games played with this guy. Need to get rid of him soon. Now, Lucas has been a nice addition to the team. Eight games, eight goals, four assists. Like I say, don't really pay attention to the stats because squad battles does really boost them a lot. 32 games with Jack Grealish. Uh, we also picked up Fred in the midfield for 6K off the market. This guy is fantastic. If you are looking for a CDM, I would definitely recommend Fred. This guy is brilliant. He's rapid. He intercepts the ball a lot for you, which is exactly what you want your CDM to do. And once we can afford uh, stuff like chemistry styles, get a shadow on this guy, he's going to be unreal. At the back, we do have Rudiger in centre-back. And like I say, this guy is really good. This guy is really, really good. Next to him, we have Christian Romero. This guy is fantastic as well. If you are looking for a cheap-ish, I think they're only about 10 to 15k each, uh, centre-back partnership. Rudiger and Romero, I couldn't recommend them enough. They are fantastic players uh, together next to each other. In right back, we have Sufal, who we did pack. This guy is trash. So slow. Feels like an absolute unit in-game. I love him in real life, so I thought, yeah, it'll be belted on FIFA. Uh, Digne, I've played this guy in CDM before, right, believe it or not. I played 4-2-3-1 uh, and played Digne in CDM, and he was great there. At left back, he feels a bit wasted. He's got good passing, uh, great passing stats. And at left back, it's a, he's a bit meaty because he's quite slow. And it's like, oh, okay, I guess. But our back line is a combined pace or an average pace of like 76. So it's not ideal when people already have pay-to-win squads and we're coming up against like 
Leroy Sané uh, and Marcus Rashford in division rivals. But this is the team. Like I say, we want to have um, seven players in the starting lineup who are first owned. Our back four is first owned. So is Grealish, Lingard, and Lucas. And then, of course, uh, Calvert Lewin. So that is uh, four, seven, eight players in the starting 11. Uh, quick maths, or is it? It is indeed eight, eight, uh, eight players there on the bench. You can see we've got Jota, Martinez, uh, Greenwood, Conza. This guy's fantastic as well. It was a shame to drop him from the squad, really. I tried a few three at the back formations uh, to try and get these three centre-backs in, Conza, Romero and Rudiger, but I wasn't really feeling the three at the back. Not really feeling anything, to be honest, boys. Like, I'm not very good at this game. I need more practice. I need more time on it um, to just try and suss it out. Like, I can't attack. My players don't make attack and runs, uh, even though we have our custom tactics, as you can see now. We have the new uh, chance creation on forward runs, and nobody makes a forward run, even though I have this on. I never have players going forward. Every time I make a pass, it never goes where I aim it. I don't understand how to play this game yet. It's going to be very frustrating, especially looking towards the first foot champions weekend um, obviously once the full game does come out we're going to get a ones to watch player we're going to get a team of the week player we're going to have 4,600 FIFA points as well we did buy the ultimate edition of the game uh, like I did mention so uh, we have less than 10 hours left on our trial very bizarre moments right here I don't know what's going on with this EA access trial uh, but we're going to click play. So, uh, yeah, I don't know what's happened with the A-Access boys, but we've got unlimited hours pretty much. Um, you know what I'm going to do for the next game? I'm going to take out Calvert-Lewin. He's been a great servant to the squad, but we're going to throw uh, my man up top there, Adam Armstrong, throw him back up top. This guy cannot finish his dinner, but he's got a bit of pace on him. So hopefully he might uh, be a little bit better than Calvert-Lewin, who's been quite stinky for us uh, so far. So, yeah, man. Anyway... Like I say, going forward on the road to glory, we should have daily episodes coming, hopefully. Um, you know, no promises on that one, actually, because I've got an, a Formula One series going on this channel as well. Uh, if you are a fan of Formula One, go and check out the F1 series. We might have to cut down the upload schedule for that one. Uh, we normally do three videos a week, might have to cut that one to two once FIFA does start up proper. But yeah, man, you should expect a video every Friday for the new promos. We're going to go through all the objectives, SBCs and all of that jazz, yeah, with all the new teams and promo cards that comes out. Just expect good content all year, boys, you know, funny, entertaining content. Uh, it's going to be funny to see me rage. We'll have more live commentary coming soon. I know a lot of people like that in the first video. We'll have more live commentary coming soon uh, on the channel. But for now, that is going to be it uh, on FIFA until the main game does come out. So... If you did enjoy this video, like, comment, share, and subscribe. Subscribe to the channel if you are new. Uh, we need to get the subscribers up. We are slacking on this channel. Like, comment, share, subscribe. You know the vibes. I'll catch us next time. Take it easy.